And we're back once again, only on this after hours, only on the after hours YouTube channel. Joining me here on the line, this young lady here. Well, she's already started to make a, a bit of a splash in the industry, and a lot more th big things are coming down the pike for her. Uh, we are proud to have the cute, the adorable, and the hardworking. <laughs> I give it the lovely ad is Daisy Bean. Uh, so, Daisy, let's start <laughs> off here with uh, so what's been going on with you? Now, how did you get involved in the business in the first place? And I guess what was it like for you, uh, I guess, on your, your first time on a professional scene? Um, well, so uh, about a year and a half ago, I was living with my boyfriend and um, I had to leave him, but I had to just like dip on the place and I did not have enough money <laughs> to get a new place. I was just like couch surfing for a while and my friend did porn. Um, and she was like, you should do porn. Um, and so she sent me to Vegas. Um, and I didn't have an agent for like a long time. Uh, but yeah, I, that ended up being kind of a disaster, like my first few months. Um, but I definitely learned more and got more together. But that's why I got into it. And then I kind of fell in love with it after that and realized like this is what I want to do for the rest of my life so take us to the first your first shoot like how nervous were you what was going on when you got on set and was it what you expected or was it a whole different ball of wax um I don't really know what to expect um because I honestly never really watched hardly any porn and so I go out to my first shoot it was actually my first time having sex with a girl um and I, I thought I was straight at the time <laughs> and uh, it was like a girl, girl. And then it was a threesome with the girl and boy. It was also my first threesome ever. Um, and then that same week was my first orgy. I <laughs> first like all these first time, first time pegging anyone. And so I, but I actually realized in my first shoot that I am definitely not straight. <laughs> I'm definitely bi um, or pan. Um, she was the first person to ever give me an orgasm because a man has never done it. <laughs> I was shocked. Um, but it was definitely like my first few scenes, I was very confused of like how, like the dialogue, I was not used to, uh, I was not used to like talking that much during sex, I guess, if that makes sense. And I didn't really know how to dirty talk. And like, I remember the guy I was shooting with kept saying like, you gotta watch porn, you gotta like, listen to these sayings that people say. Um, and I don't know, I, I definitely, it took a while to get used to it, but now like dirty talk is super easy for me. Um, but I was definitely nervous, um, but I kind of, I've gotten used to being on camera by now. I guess, <laughs> yeah. Take us to uh, now. You recently shot for Bang Bros. Congratulations on that, because that's a, a nice company. Yeah, uh, what what was that yeah. like, that scene, and what is it like working with people who are much older than you, like almost old enough to be your parents? Um. Well, I don't know. It's it's okay depending on the scene because sometimes, um sometimes I guess like working with older people is fine if they're like respectful but I've noticed a lot of men that are like in their 70s and stuff like that um I don't know they they tend to think that they're gonna get to fuck me off camera or that they could take advantage of me because I'm young and you know newer to the industry um so those have been a lot of bad situations I think I mean I'm used to fucking people older than me now um especially because like there was some stuff that happened uh like my first couple months in porn where I ended up like escorting and stuff like that which was um so I kind of got used to it then too um but yeah so what do you like working with more, wet men or women? And what's easier for you working with guys who you can be more submissive or girls where you could probably switch? Um, I like working with girls a lot, but I don't usually get to. Um, it's kind of like 
way less often I get booked for that. And a lot of people do love to book me for the like step judge, step bro, or BBC scenes. Um, and those are fine. Um, but like, I would say, um, you know, can you pause the recording? My roommate's being really loud. Yeah, so there's a lot of things <laughs> going on here once again with Miss Daisy being here. So, so you're doing a lot of stuff also with, as you said, you're so, so going forward here, what's the plan in terms of like, who do you want to shoot with? Like, do, you, do you have a wish list? Do you have people that you want to shoot with that you, in terms of like male and female talent? I don't have like a lot of specific people. Um, like I think I do like shooting with like married couples. That's usually like the most, the best vibes that I get on set. I feel like um, that the, the man is never going to be weird to me when his wife is sitting right there. Um, and those are usually fun. Um, I think in terms of like specific people, there's a few like people I've met um, just while I was staying with my agent and they were pretty nice. Um, I would want to shoot with them, but I definitely want to shoot with um, some more of the bigger companies like um you know, I, I've shot with Team Ski and like Bang Bros and I have a hustler shoot coming up soon. Um, but I I do want to shoot with like Playboy um, TV or I just I just saw the list from AVN and Brazzers would be awesome. Because um, I don't know, I think the big companies are usually like the, the most fun shoots too because they have a makeup artist and, you know, it's very professional. Everything's always consensual, you know. So you mentioned male talent. So who who are the male talent you like working with the most so far? Like who have been like the your, your the guys you've enjoyed working with because they either they're not just good at, you know on set or good off set and they treat you right. Um, I really liked. Uh, I can't remember the name of the company, but Xavier Blacking was really good to shoot with. Um, and he, like his um, he was there's a couple other people there too, like. And they had wives of the industry. They that whole set was super fun. Um, I I like shooting with um, what is his name? Britt Cummings for Bang.com. That was uh, he was really nice. Um, was another good male talent. I did enjoy um, Jovan Jordan with Bang Bros. Um, and who else? Those are like some of the best shoots I've had, I think. Um, I guess the other ones are kind of like unremarkable <laughs> that I'm thinking of. Um, but there, there are people that were reasonably nice. Um, but those were probably my favorite few people I've shot with. So what's the plan for your like OnlyFans mini vids? Like how is that coming along? And who's helping you in terms of like getting your own stuff and your own content so that, you know, you have your own little bit, you know, personal business um so i actually uh cox models just signed with um or just partnered with uh an agency called srn and um i just uh signed with them very recently um and uh what was i gonna say like well uh, when I, they partner with playboy basically and they get you like brand deals and stuff but their main thing is they help you manage your only fans so we just got that set up this week i got my tax forms all filled out um and i sent them loads of content that i made this week um so that's gonna start posting and then they also say you know they can sell like um sell your snapchat follows you know and then help build like instagram and um obviously all of that stuff and then i also do like camming as well um right now i'm just on streammate but i'm trying to make like, get approved on loyal fans and uh, sex panther as well um because that's uh, i don't know it'd be nice to just put a few computers down and cam them all at once i'm tough is it sometimes but yeah doing this where you're always, you know, as you said, you're going on sets, long hours. You have to sometimes, you know, if you're not working for the big for the big sites, you're always sometimes they take your own hair and makeup. Like you have to make sure, you know, you're on call time, you're in shape, and different, you know, 
how, how tough is it when even sometimes you're having sex in like a van, on the couch, kitchen table? And I'm guessing your body's going, this is not fun. This is not fun. Oh, I think I, I think I pulled a muscle here. Yeah, no, definitely my body. It, working has taken a toll on my body, um, especially when I work every day for like two weeks straight. I pretty much consistently get a yeast infection every week or two. Um, I get a lot of UTIs and all of that stuff. And people don't really talk about it because like, I don't know, but you know, in, in the sex work industry, like if you're being fucked eight hours a day for two weeks straight and like harshly and to make it look good, like you're going to get, you're going to have to go to the doctor and get antibiotics a lot. <laughs> um, and definitely like I ended up getting uh, chlamydia in the outbreak that happened in Florida um, a few months ago. And yeah, I was out of work for like a month because um, it was that new strain. Um, but it's definitely, yeah, I mean, it's it's it takes a lot to make your body do that, which is why I, like, I feel like it's best to work like a couple of weeks out of the month and then maybe like cam the rest of the month because you need to give like your pussy a break. And definitely when you're in certain positions or like I have pulled muscles before, like my back gets really sore from like, the way that like porn is not made to like for you to have comfortable sex like you're having sex that looks good on camera it's not supposed to feel good it's not supposed to be enjoyable you're just supposed to look like you're enjoying it um because you have to be in all these positions where the camera angle is like making you look good um and that involves like crab walk and like weird fucking turn around in places and definitely can get pretty tired at the end of the day you mentioned before you worked you know several days a week is there plans going forward to basically go look i need a day break a day break in between just so that physically your body can heal up yeah that's what i'm thinking of doing like i'm kind of discussing with my agent of maybe scheduling like a like blowjob shoot in between like B bg shoots i guess um but like it's kind of hard to plan it like that i guess because like just like people are available when they're available but it honestly like ends up being if i don't do that you know then i end up like having to cancel shoots because i literally can't sit down which is kind of what happened this last time in florida um because i got um i got, ended up getting a UTI and BV and a yeast infection at the same time. And I thought, well, I, like, I didn't know I had all of those. I thought it was just a yeast infection. And I was like, I'm just going to shoot anyway. Um, and <laughs> I get in the shoot because I was like, the medicine you use for it, because I already had a shoot book that day. I was like, I'll wait till the end of the day to use the medicine because it, it's like a suppository and it would burn someone's dick if you fuck them while you're on the medicine. Um, so I was like, okay, I'll just wait for the shoot and I get in the shoot. And it's so embarrassing because the yeast literally started being visible on camera. So I like douched a bunch of times and, and got rid of that. But I ended up having to like fake a lot of the shots. And then it like having sex with the infection already ended up like irritating it so much that I had to cancel all the rest of my shoots, um, which I had like three or four left um, and just like rest for a week, which ended up making me less money in the end because like if I had just taken days off in between, I could have made all the shoots, but yeah. So I think I'm, I'm gonna plan it like that going forward. <laughs> who are the people that you trust in the business? Like, is there any, you, you said you, you have a friend who was important before you got in, like who are your friends that have helped you along the way or that you call for help because you trust them. They have your back. Um, definitely Melanie. <laughs> um, we just met kind of recently, but she's the one who introduced me to you. Um, she's yeah, she's I call her my porn mom because like she just takes care of me and like even during my layover in Vegas, she like cooked me dinner and um she's just the sweetest. Like if I am like I don't know if this guy's weird or not, I can bounce that off her and we definitely like brainstorm ideas together all the time and I FaceTime her every day. Um, but the friend who got me in the business, actually, that was a disaster. It turns out she was getting paid 
to pimp me out like my first week in porn i didn't know that and like she sent me to a thing where i only got a thousand dollars for the whole week and i was shooting like several scenes a day um and like they, they specifically prey on new girls that don't really know that like to me a thousand dollars was a lot when i was working minimum wage i was like that's more than i make in like a month so like it seemed okay but now i know like i should be getting that every single day um but yeah i think i definitely trust melanie and, um she's a main person i don't have a lot of people in porn that i necessarily trust like i there'll be people that i enjoy socializing with but like i don't it's it's kind of dumb to trust too many people um in the industry like that's kind of how you get burnt well there you have it ladies and gentlemen once again that we are proud to have on the show i give you the uh very delightful adorable and uh hard i give you it's daisy bean uh daisy before we let you go where can fans check you out at where is the Twitter page, Instagram, the website. Where can fans hit you up at? Um, Daisy Bean X is uh my Twitter, and it's all lowercase, and that's also my OnlyFans. Um, I'm still working on making an Instagram, uh, but that will be posted on my Twitter and OnlyFans as soon as that's done. Um, yeah, and then my streaming is same name. So if anyone wants to look me up there. Daisy Bean, ladies and gentlemen, once again, always on a pleasure having you on the show. We come back. A lot more going on here, only on its After Hours, only on the After Hours YouTube channel.